Yeah, I, I can't really judge what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, I think last year they missed out on a couple pieces and they ended up with just Doug. So this year, I, I don't I honestly. I'm I'm just waiting and just watching. I, I everybody's guessing. Everybody says, "Hey, we like this guy. We like this guy." Um, I I don't I don't know the direction where they go. I'll rather I'm gonna just wait and see what direction they go and see what builds upon that. I don't. I, I honestly I don't know. More to Nate's point, you know what's unfortunate? How he doesn't know what direction they're going in. Yeah. And he's the general yeah. manager. Okay. Yeah. Right. He I mean, has no clue. And <laughs> furthermore, you have Jeffrey Lurie, who thinks he's he thinks he, you know, he thinks he's the football guy, all right? Meddling. All right. Remember, you know, we used to make fun of the Dallas Cowboys and make fun of Jerry Jones, right? Because he wanted to be the coach, GM, and quarterback, right? And own the and and write the check. Well, guess what? All right. I got news for you. Jeffrey Lurie, yeah, he's pretending to be GM as well. And he wants to be coach. He wants to do it all. And you know what? It's biting us in the ass. And until Jeffrey Lurie realizes that and realizes that it's time to say bye-bye to Howie, bring in a real football guy to be a general manager, this team is going nowhere next year. Or the next few years. Oh, the same the same owner that tells you defense really doesn't matter. He just wants an electric offense. That owner, okay, right, mm -hmm. yeah. Blow, blows my mind. Blows and Tom, my to mind. Your, Tom, to your question, what do I think they're doing? Or do I have a problem with what they're doing? Do you have a problem with them waiting? Is is it like do you have a problem with not not having a head coach hired already? No, I, I don't have an issue with it because at this point, when you know now we only have two. <laughs> jobs remaining in the Texans and Austin some at some point we got to recognize that I think the sequel's job is more attractive <laughs> than the Texans job and that I mean that's really bad being able to say that but yeah. I look at it now at no point did I ever think they knew what they were doing I think the only plan they thought was hey let's try and get Lincoln Riley here and the second that kind of went out the window I think now they're just like hey let's interview as many guys as possible if we can get the enemy or Dable in here for an interview let's do it but I think what they've been trying to do ever since then and kind of been waiting for – Dable doesn't even want to come here. That's number one. They've got to now convince him to come here. And and he even said going to any team, he's not going to interview until the Bills are eliminated to where, hey, that might not happen for another couple weeks because obviously if they get to the Super Bowl, we got to wait for a while. Is that the but, guy, Is that the OC for yeah, the Bills? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'd rather yeah. be enemy than Dable. Honestly. Oh, absolutely. I, I completely agree. But to, to, to now, I think all these interviews, I think they're just going in and they're getting all these different guys finding, trying to find somebody that wows them. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let's let's use our sources. Hey, maybe this guy was referred to us by the Saints. You know, maybe, you know, maybe Sean Payton said something about this defensive coordinator. Maybe Frank Ray said something about this offensive coordinator, this Sirianni. Okay, well, what they're what Please. they're trying to find is a yes man. That's yep. what they're trying to find. I agree with you. I hope it's not the case. Like I might like my two would be McDaniels or Bianami. Like if I like them two or all my short lists because I think McDaniels may be able to figure it out a second time around and not have as much responsibility. I don't yeah. know how he is as a leader of men. I know Robert Kraft loves him, and that's the reason he didn't take the the coach job. That's why Frank Frank went and took it. But I do like I do think he can, I do think both can be end up being helpful with their staff for Carson Wentz. And that's what I need. Like I, I, I will tell you, I, I will tell you this, Tom. And, and you know, obviously we talked on Monday and I was kind of I was all right with the Josh McDaniels. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. On the on the way home when I was in the car tonight, and I'm not saying this guy is, you know, like, you know, I, I take it at gospel, but uh Ross Tucker was talking. Um obviously, you know, a big name in the NFL and all. The amount of good things he had to say about Josh McDaniels, he almost sold me. Yeah. Talking about he's a – you can't say he's not a leader of men. He's intense on the sidelines. He gets everyone's attention in the locker room. He's a smart guy. He talked about, like we talked, on a, uh, talked about on Monday, to where nine out of the last ten seasons they had a top ten offense. You can see how they've won different ways over there. Obviously, Tom Brady helps. But when you look at the things that they worked with with Tom Brady – 
It wasn't Bill. It was McDaniels. Well, why did I like Doug, Rye, when we hired yeah, Doug? But does he fit here? Does McDaniels – and that was the only question I had with McDaniels. I think he does. Does, does, does he fit here? Because bringing that kind of Patriot way or the highway shit, I'm not sure if that fits here in Philly. That's I'll my say, only question about that hire. That's a great point. That's a great point. But maybe he figured out the difference in being able to do that from Denver to now, right? Mm-hmm. And he's maybe grown. I will say this about Joshua. I believe he's going to bring a really good staff with him. Mm-hmm. So that's that's selling to me. And I think like what, the reason I liked the Doug hire back in the day, because he was around winning his whole career. From playing to coaching, he was around winners. From Shaw, Marino, to Favre, and Holmgren, to Andy, right? To Vibe, right? He was always around guys who won.